Good morning people Today is day I don't know what and I woke up way before my alarm clock went off so I guess now I am a super morning person, not just morning person, super morning person. It is 5, 5 a.m. right now and I think I woke up at 4, so yeah, that's that. My blisters don't look bad at all, but they are super painful. During the night the blister spots were throbbing with like pulsating, uh, so yeah, and I tried to walk in the morning right now when going to the a dry house and quite painful. I still use this physio tape that I have a lot with me. Ooh. Still hurts though, but at least it's clean. Well, that's a nice surprise. The shop is closed. Yep, pretty closed. Oh, what's going on with me, Luna? Well, that's a bummer. Okay. One option is to speed to the end destination for today. But this means really speeding and I, I don't know if I can do it with my heels. Or I could just make a little diet camp. Because Luna has food so I don't worry about her. Although it's a little bit less food than I would like but it's okay. But for me I think I could do it. It wouldn't be the most pleasant thing but I could. Okay. So I decided to take on the challenge to ration my food for the next two and a half days and see what happens. Look what I found. I wonder if they are real or like only sound. Oh. And from the looks of it, somebody has been hiding out here in the bush. Somebody from the training. Oh, that's a full uh, pate that I am taking with me. Is this unopened too? Oh, it's unopened too. Yes, I will take this also with me. <laughs> okay, so in one of the earlier days I showed you the minefield training spot. So I guess uh, most, most, most likely somebody was here and left some trash, that is for my luck, but also left some bullets here, so I should call somebody. Hmm, I have to google a bit. Ma saadan sinna need koordinaadid, aga kas ma võtan nad kaasa ja panen sinna lõkke kohta, sest siia on raske autoga pääseda. Jah, just. Yeah, balloon. Yeah, Taika. So I just called to the environmental inspection, and I will take the bullets with me to the campsite nearby, so the inspector can come and pick them up. So I found this bag. I collected the trash here, but I will also. Uh, sorry, Luna. Anandeks. I will take this food with me. That's the price for good deeds. So, bullets, bye bye. I will leave you here and the inspector will come and pick you up. So, a police officer called me a little while ago and told me that they got a bag that I left at the campsite but they needed 
to meet with me to do some paperwork so I just met with them I sat in the police car and wrote like an expl explanation where I found the bullets yeah that was it they were really friendly and interested to hear about my hiking adventures and yeah I got this paper where I voluntarily give away ammunition and or guns yeah so that's that. Ah, by the way, the police officer told me also that these are not, these weren't the real like bullets, but they were the ones that only make the sound. So most, most likely somebody from the exercise uh, forgot them there. So yeah. But now let's try the food that I found next to those planks. So this is the most exciting. It's, it says whole wheat uh, rye bread 250 grams is it like fork marks why you can open it oh ah oh, it is slices it tastes like really really whole wheat bread thingy so, but I bet it tastes good with this pate. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. Good for a free, free found food on the woods. The last 10 kilometers. Unbelievable. It is happening. I am sad, happy. Nostalgic. Hmm, I don't even know. Confused. I'm walking the last kilometers and man, I'm tired. Not only from today, but from the whole trip altogether. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> We are basically here. This is the lake that the trail ends at. Not at this point, actually. We have like maybe two kilometers to walk. Uh, and I will do that tomorrow because I don't know if I told you. So the way I get off the trail and back to my car is with a bus. And I, I realized at the middle of the hike that the bus doesn't go on Saturdays. So I have to wait until Monday for the bus, so I have the whole tomorrow to chill out and I will tackle the last two kilometers tomorrow and I think it's a good thing because it will give me this nice t time to relax and how to say process the emotions and things and thoughts that I have. I wouldn't like to end the trail by just rushing to the bus and rushing back home so it's a beautiful place anyway. I'm sitting here minding my own business, resting. And of course, there is a wasp hive here. And I'm going to do absolutely nothing about it. I'm so over with these guys. I will just let them mind their own business. There is a big opening here. All opened. They should not mind me and I will not mind them. By the way, this is how a Luna's backpack looks like after each day. Super muddy, but let's give you some food. That's you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay, do it. Do it. Do it. So this is my attempt to add a bit green to my food. So these are nettles. Cheers. This tastes, oh my God, so good. Oh, this has to be my new favorite thing. Mm. Unbelievable. Guys, you should all eat nettle inside of mashed potatoes, but a warning.
uh, really empty hikers um, the stomach might be the culprit here right now <laughs> mm. good morning guys oh it is such a lazy morning for me it is half past seven so <laughs> It is the last day of this trip and it is the last day of this whole, whole hiking through Estonia experience, so... Luna! Kui ta sul läheb? Oi, kui ma enus. Joo, tere! Good morning, my friend! Did you have a great night? I am actually starving a bit, uh, but I don't have much food. But I know I can make tea. I usually never make tea in the mornings because I couldn't bother hassling with the hot water and so... Yeah, um, the food thing will be interesting for today and tomorrow morning as well. Uh. Last kilometers. Let's do it. That's it. We did it. Done. Oh, such a weird feeling. Oh my God. Two years of hiking. Two years of walking. Two years of this amazing, crazy project. And now it's done. I still don't know what to say. It is sort of a relief, sort of sad because that was such a huge part of my life such huge part of my two years of transitioning myself mentally and physically and understanding what my limits are how physically capable I really am I can surely say that this trail was very important to me not the ending but the trail itself and the journey that the trail brought me on because without this trail without this idea I wouldn't have made this YouTube channel I would have wouldn't have quit my job I wouldn't have realized how great outdoors and hiking and being in the nature is without this I probably wouldn't have started drawing as much as I do now thank you so much for being part of this journey and for being part of my hiking family I have enjoyed immensely showing my adventures to you and sharing my thoughts with you and hopefully we can continue with that. Okay, and I will see you really soon. Bye! Oh, by the way, as you can see we are walking again and that's because a local woman told us that there is a bus going on Saturday but it is going five kilometers away from us so we started walking again and we can get to home today yes if something goes wrong be chill and everything will figure itself out <laughs> okay bye bye <laughs>